Hey my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Trey CJ, coming today for another morning coffee video. And today I want to talk to you all about how the enemy wants you to stop, boo, okay? And I'm coming today with just a zeal because the reality of it is I don't know how many times I've heard one of my sisters call me, hit me up, send me messages about how they want to stop on the vision that God is placing them. They want to stop on the thing that they've been working for for years and years and years. They want to stop. And so today I'm going to talk to you, sis. I'm going to encourage you, but I'm also going to tell you why the enemy wants you to stop. Because if you stop now, you will never get to the realness and the, see the greatness that really is living inside of you. See, the enemy me want you to throw off, throw in the towel to quit today to say, hey, the vision never came to pass. So I just give up on it because he wants you not to ever realize your greatness. Never realize what you have the potential and the capacity that you really have inside of you. So the reality is today I want to talk to you about how the enemy wants you to stop. Okay, sis. And the go about this is I want to set you free. I want to set you free because every time a struggle comes in your life, I don't want you to feel like that's the sign to throw in the towel, but I want you to realize that's the sign to get back in the ring and put your, put your gloves back on and get back in the fight because I want you to realize that on this walk you must endure and when we go through this journey of faith you must endure till the end that is the goal of our Christian walk but even that comes even with your dreams even with the things God has told you even with the prayers you've been praying you must endure with faith you must endure with hope you must endure see so that means you got to get through the valleys you got to get through when the money was high and when the money was low you got to get through when everything was peachy clean but then also when everything started to crumble you've got to endure through these seasons because what this is is this is building something in you okay because I want you to realize that if you never get to the end result, you never get to the product, you never get to the produce, you never see the good fruit, then you never see the greatness that was always living inside of you. And the enemy wants to stop you before you get there because he already sees the greatness that is ahead of you. He already sees the potential that's inside of you. He already seen the gift that was in you when you was a child. So he's been trying to throw things in your journey and things to hold you up. But the reality is you just got to press forward, sis. You've got to be willing to endure. And I think the reality is sometimes we think this is so difficult, but we see it every day in nature every day in nature we know if we put a seed in the ground in good fertile soil and we water that seed daily we will probably most likely if it's a good seed produce a harvest and I want to tell you sis there has been seeds that God has been dropping in you for years there's been ideas and prayers and desires that he's been placing inside of your heart on the soil of your heart for year after year but you won't water that thing you won't water the thing with faith you won't water it with prayer you won't water it with your actions okay so you got an idea but you won't put in the work to water that thing right but I want to tell you if you water this thing long enough it will produce you a harvest and God is wanting us to water the gifts he's placed in us. He wants us to water the word he gave us. He wants us to water the prophecy we got years ago. He wants us to water that thing because it's easy to forget and it's easy to uproot the very seed that God placed in your heart. You try to pick it out and say, no, I'm not going to do it because it took too long. Like the journey's too, I don't look like her. I don't talk like her. I don't do it like them. So it's going to be so much harder for me when the reality is God is like, I put the seed in there. If you water the seed, you will reap the harvests. All I want to tell you today is the enemy wants you to stop so you don't experience the greatness that God has in you. But today is your day. Today is your hour to decide that I'm going to not just stop. I'm not going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to give up, but I'm going to endure to the very end. And you know, it was years ago, even when I had a nine to five, I remember I made up in my mind that I would never give up on building my ministry, like building this thing that God put in me. I think I was 25 or 26. And I realized one day I just felt the Lord would be like, hey, I just felt it so strongly. It was like, do you want to give up? And I was like, no, like, I love this. Like I never want to give up. And it's like, okay, make up your mind today that no matter the struggles you go through, no matter the lows, the highs, no matter if no one ever watches your stuff, no matter if you never grow beyond the point you've grown to, that you will not give up on the seed that I placed in your heart. And I think we have to get to a place where the seed that God has placed in us, we say, we'll go walk, we'll keep working the job, we'll keep honoring people, we'll keep doing the things that our life requires, but we're never going to give up on this thing. And I want to say that that right there was a changing point in my life when I realized I was not going to give up on it. And I know it was only through that decision that when I did go through financial struggles and when I did have to let people go, like my whole team go, because I couldn't, I couldn't do anything anymore, I couldn't even afford the ministry anymore. 
I, I knew it because I knew I was never going to give up. I said, you know what, even if the ministry falls apart, even if this thing goes away, I'm going to still do the thing you called me to do. I'm going to still build it. I'm going to still work towards it. And I think that is the key today. You must endure. And I want to tell you, many times we throw in, throw in the towel because we're really not doing a reflection. Because reflection just means to reflect inward. And what happens is there's all this stuff going on on the outside, but the reality is it's the stuff that's going on on the inside that's going to cause you to throw in the towel. So you might say, oh man, um, the finances are too low, so I can't build the dream. But really on the inside, there's a negative talk and there's not a faith and there's not a hope. And you're not really watering that seed no way. So that makes it easier for you to throw in the towel. It makes it easier for you to give up. Also too, you might be somebody who hasn't really worked towards that thing. So you feel like, oh, well, there's no really point. I don't really have any traction yet. So there's no point to go to. So you're not really watering the seed anymore. So today my goal with you is that you will realize the enemy is trying to get you to quit watering that seed sis he wants you to get up and say i'm not gonna study i'm not gonna put in the work i'm not gonna go look and do the thing i know i've been called to do he wants you to say i need a whole three months off trust me he's put that in my spirit many many times like he's gonna want you to throw in the towel he's gonna want you to put away the dream i remember in march god gave me this idea he said do something with the building and i'm like i am doing something with it like i'm here every day like and i just felt this need for community and I will say, I put that thing off because I was like, I don't have time. I don't know how I'm going to do it. This month, we just did our second one with 10 women in the room. And it was still just so beautiful, powerful. And I enjoyed myself completely. But I just want to tell you that there's times God's going to put seed in your heart. And, you, and you're going to feel like you're going to doubt it. You're not going to want to do it. But if, sis, if you just water that thing for a little bit, if you just start actively taking small steps. I remember the first thing I did is I wrote it on my board in there. I put small groups community this is when we're going to launch it in july like i just put a date that's all i did i didn't know nothing else i just put a date and the closer that date got i was like okay i gotta do something i gotta do something i made another board where i started to put pictures on the board of other bible studies and stuff and like how i want this experience to be for the ladies this is the reality of it sis is if you just start walking towards that thing a little by little by little by little God will do something powerful, okay? God will do something powerful. So that's kind of what I wanted to encourage you on today. I want you to realize that the enemy wants you to stop. But sis, if you're willing to let yourself free, as in let yourself free to know that there is a greatness inside of you and he wants to hold you back from your greatness. Also, if you realize God is trying to take you on a new phase, that's the reason why you're going through this. He's trying to get you into a new chapter. He's trying to take you on a new phase, trying to shift your life, sis. If you embrace that and also you're willing to endure, sis, you're willing to go through that and you're also willing to water that seed day in and day out if you water it with faith and prayer if you water it with your actions you water it with your daily actions you're going to see a harvest and I want you to always remember that when you're getting ready to throw in the towel it's not really about what's going on on the outside it's what's going on on the inside and it's the dialogue you're having about your dreams and about the thing God has called you to do so I want you to realize that your reflection really matters you've got to reflect inward to know exactly what God is trying to say and what he He's encouraging you to do versus just say this is what it is and this the outward circumstances are going to depict how things go you got to go inward sis you got to go inward so I know I said a lot and my goal today was just to come with a quick word I just felt this on my spirit and I was just like Lord help me deliver this message the way you're giving it to me and it literally just put it together like three minutes ago because I just had the title and I had the gist but I didn't have enough and I was like I don't want this to be a one minute video but it just the reality of it is I'm so passionate about each and every one of us going for the thing God put in front of us if it's just more faith if it's like I have a desire to to see more daughters healed I'll have a desire to speak I have a desire to help somebody like continue to go for that. If I desire to be a better daughter, a better sister, a better auntie, a better mother, whatever that is, continue to believe for that and God will assist you on that journey and he will drop seeds in your heart that you have to water. And as you water that, you will produce your harvests. You will produce a harvest, okay? And um, I'm just a living testimony of that. And it's really just watering the dream and the gift and the words and the prophecies that God spoke to me years and years ago that I just watered day in and day out and God continued to bring the harvest. I didn't know when it would come. It only comes through the Father. I didn't know the hour it would come through. I didn't know the moment it was gonna change, but I knew my God. And so with that being said, I knew what I stood on and that's a firm foundation and his word is true. And so I hope this blessed you. I hope this inspired you. I know it was a little like all over the place a little bit, but I just wanna give you a quick word. Have a great Monday, have a great morning coffee and I'll see you next week.